Yes, I've got a Vader. This is my 125cc Vator. It's a 2024. I bought it brand new. Finally making a video on it. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you. I won't make you wait eight minutes like everybody else says. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you. Upgrade the carburetor. That's the main thing to do is upgrade the carburetor. Uh, everything is linked in the description below. So um, it'll be pretty easy to find. Mine is, it starts with an M. I can't remember right off the top of my head what it is or what the name brand of it is, but it is a 26 millimeter carburetor. Um, I can't remember the name of it. <clears throat> anyway, that's the first thing you should do is do the carburetor, the exhaust, because once you start letting air in, you know, that stuff's going to go somewhere. So I would put an exhaust. Uh, 17 tooth sprocket, that is very important. I would definitely do that. 17 tooth is, yeah, people getting mad down there. <laughs> 17 tooth sprocket is what I would do. Um, mine is a bit wobbly. I don't know why it's wobbling as much as it does. The stock chain did fit with the 17 tooth sprocket. It was a little tight to get the chain on, but now the chain is loose. So definitely got to tighten it back up. But yeah, I will definitely be buying a chain. I think they're 428 is the chain size. I would get an O-ring chain if I was you guys. I'm definitely going to do that. No specific brand on the exhaust or anything like that. Uh, you can get the Nabby carburetor. I heard they're better. The Nabby, they come in 26, 24s, and 22s, I believe. Wondering about the uh, benefits of having a carb uh, or uh, getting a new carb. Uh, it cranks easier. Uh, before, it took a, a minute to crank and it had to warm up. This don't. It cranks right up. I can show you real quick. This is a cold start. I haven't rode it. I come home from work and decided to do a video. Didn't even have to choke it. Uh, I actually have never had to choke it to crank it. It cranks right up. Uh, it gives it a ton of power. I cannot fathom how much power it gives because it's a freaking ton. Uh, it's not really, but you get what I mean. You can see it's a noticeable difference. Very noticeable. I did get uh, handlebars, the KLX bars, uh, pro, tip, pro Tipper grips. I would definitely look into getting a throttle cable like an aftermarket throttle cable because mine is loose, pretty bad loose. Uh, I had to take the elbow off. Don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, I put the carburetor on and left that little elbow that was on the throttle cable. And when I took that throttle cable off, or when I kept the elbow on, I crunked the back and it was wide open. So take the elbow off. Uh, easy pull lever. I just went with gold because I like it, but it really did help with, you know, pulling the clutch in and stuff. I really love easy pull levers. I used to have them on my Groms too. Definitely recommend getting a seat. This seat is very uncomfortable. I'd probably get like a bride seat or something like that. Now they do tell you to change your axles and your motor mounts. You don't have to right away. The thing's brand new. So you're not gonna have much, you know, unreliability right off the bat. So you do, I do believe you have some time. I'll give it some time. I've only rode, I can't tell you how reliable it actually is because I've only rode it 83 miles. So yeah, I'm gonna do a 500 mile review and a thousand mile review on it. So just be looking forward to that. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for the, the next few videos for this, which will be the 500 mile. I'll probably do some riding videos with it here and there. But uh, again, the 500 mile review and the, th the thousand mile review, I'll do that. Maybe even 2000 mile review. Just depends on how these videos go. But yeah, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.